Look at the process that David had to go through in order to achieve his forgiveness from God. Normally you would sin and you would say, Lord, please forgive me. You would just hear a prayer and you would think that that, you know, would be enough. But David had to go through a whole price where, where, where he had to get himself down in sackcloth and 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 ground closing and pray and fast and did it for many days go through a whole purgatory process before he was forgiven and the reason for that is because that there are two types of sin there's a sin that the man committed ignorantly and the sin that he knows that he he is not supposed to do when he did it. That's a presumptuous sin. So the presumptuous sin, any sin that a man commit that he knows that he is not supposed to commit, that is a presumptuous sin. And any sin that he anything that he's doing ignorantly and he, he knows not what he's doing. That's a that's a sin that he's committing in ignorance. Now the presumptuous sin is a sin that I'm talking about. Now, if David had to go through that process to, to, to gain God's forgiveness, then why should the Christian who committed a presumptuous sin has to go through anything less? You could say, you could quote a lot of scriptures here and say that, you know, God forgive, you know, because Jesus came now and he died for those sins. So you don't have to do, you know how you are like to count to quote scriptures you know but look at it this way you cannot ask for forgiveness for a sin except you first realized that the thing that you did was wrong and it is that same realization that you know that the thing that you did was wrong it is that same realization and it is that same conscience that makes you do better now you could look at the sins as you would look at the bullets in a gun you know if bullets were more expensive if people have to pay a hundred dollars or a hundred and fifty dollars every time they fire a bullet because the bullets cost that much then there wouldn't be so much killing they wouldn't shoot so many people. There would have been a lot alive, see, if bullets were to cause that much. Now, look, look at your sins that way. If you know that you had to go through the process that David does, many days of fasting and prayers, many, many hours of, 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 of catching up, to deal with the issue of your sin, to pay for the price of your sin, then you would not have sinned so much. You would not have done the thing that you, you have done because you know how much it is to pay for it. And you could say that Christ has already paid for all your sins so that you don't have to pay for it anymore. And you see, there is a trick in that. Not to use the word trick, in the sense of, of, of dealing with, with, with the word of God or with the things of God or with the will of God. But when I say trick, I mean that there is something that you're, you're not paying attention to. With the salvation that Christ brings, he brings salvation, repentance unto salvation. And it is one baptism that means a man can, you cannot go baptize and go back and baptize again so when you baptize it's for the remission of sin it's for the remission of the sins that you know that you was in that you know conscious that you have been committed and the baptism is the washing away of those sins now since there is one baptism a man have a commitment to to, to live it's, it's certain things that you do in life that's once you was born once 
you was baptized once because baptism is, is the new birth. So you can't say you're born and come back and born again. So you can only be born one time and you, you repent unto baptism. Because the baptism is the washing away of the sins that you now realize that you have committed and that you have decided not to go back and do. Now, within the process of salvation, after repentance and baptism, we receive the Holy Spirit, which without which we cannot have salvation. Because you cannot live a spiritual life without the Spirit of God, because you wouldn't understand what holiness is without the Holy Spirit. So this is why, we, you know, we need that in our life. The thing about the Holy Spirit is, is that it is the Holy Spirit. So therefore, when a man sins, the Holy Spirit is detached from his life. With the Holy Spirit being detached from your life, 